So also in the modern, we've brought it, you know, I've brought it also to modern uh, symbolism. This is some Catholic trip, but they have taken the um, two keys, as you see. The translation has been complete. <laughs> so yeah, um, just an example. I think yeah, this was from Braddy. Like you know, they are aware of the relationship between uh, you know physical reality and mind basically certain effects on biology and yeah it does go into all sorts of things like yeah even earth frequencies a lot of stuff to do with plants um, that I've been going over so um, just and using plants as an example of genetics like you see two pot plants here and um, they're cloning something and it's in reference to Cyrus so and we're going to look at differences so we're going to look at differences between say um, Horus and say a archetype even maybe like Jesus the differences and similarities and <clears throat> uh, even a hidden kind of like how we've been looking in the tomb we're gonna of Tutankhamun and the family surrounding Akhenaten because it was um, also uh, the stories there too um, and it's probably even more hidden and you know these things repeat and cycles like we talked about an apocalyptic cycle but uh, the power plants and someone mentioned them as being relationship to sun and you can see here at, um, you're looking at some sort of rays and also see this shouldn't be here it looks like they're even using the metric system and like we know what that looks like and different things to, yeah anyway so power plants as got a few people hanging around that dig a bit of Carlos Castaneda which is cool because you know it's um shamanism and it lines up like um, I guess it's a science in itself so if there's a relationship there either it fits in with it or you have to pretty much discard it's just some crazy whatever belief system or you know, which is fine I mean, yeah. <laughs> but we're right now here and now <laughs> this is what we're like yeah looking at specific formulas you know what I'm saying gee <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, no, I just had a freak out in the comments a couple of videos back. <clears throat> Alright, I'm trying not to waffle too much shit, but I think I've got about 20 minutes of video anyway. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, video games? No. Alright, um, so... Yeah, okay, so we've got like, you know, maybe if you're watching this sort of weird shit, you'll, you'll understand like where I'm going with this, like, there's even, you know, some renaissance stuff, they were onto it, like, yeah, um, I'm going to, oh yeah, I was talking about Carlos Castaneda, power plants, like, in reference to that, it's like, these things, like, uh, plants, like, um, that they use to enhance their consciousness and it's not always this all oh, technological fucking year they had like they harnessed the power of electricity like whatever maybe they did but the real thing they were trying to show you is the power of consciousness and as we see here's the evil dude like with the two he does his two sticks if you want to call them that and we're going to look at this symbolism too here. Um, the two arms. 
because um, this is like you know I was showing you like you know even masons have the certain hand positions but this is gonna um, unlock it more for you so it's basically when it comes to the brain we're looking at here is like yeah the brain stem you can see how it's like knocked off there so it's basically focusing on the head here but there also is like you know a little man in there <laughs> and um to back it up sorry trigeminal nerve stents see so, yeah, and differences like um you got to look at what they're holding too and each little claw and weird sorry weird freaking thing as included in the genome and what it in its rep, uh, representation to the type of consciousness it holds So a lot of this stuff, uh, when it comes to like the three-dimensional stuff and what pops out, you need like a more of a closer to dreaming state, on its beta state, or uh, even or but um sometimes it's close to a liminal state, like even go to half asleep and start thinking about it, because you need to be f pretty far in the right side of awareness sometimes to really unlock the story because it's it's the same techniques as we've been discussing um, with these dimensional layers in it and things that pop out and I will f unfold like you know the different how I've showed the different geometry in it as you unravel it the geometry and go from point to point and you know, it kind of shows you, tells you a story. Like in a way, that's why I say it's alive, it speaks. Um, you can see the coffin shape here starting to emerge before your very eyes already, probably. Um, yeah, anyway. Sorry, I'm just trying to lay this out real quick if I'm talking real fast and rambling. So, yeah, the differences I think I mentioned. We've been going to spot the difference in Da Vinci, so like um <clears throat> so in order to like bridge the gap we're looking at some sort of um some sort of um thing to fill the gap there because there was something missing there was a part of a osiris missing but yeah um so we'll probably go into yeah Oh, that's right. So it all goes back to, yeah, these two sticks when approaching. I talked about the approach, you know, approaching a god and why they represent consciousness and why two is necessary and why this one is broken and why her arms are crossed. So yeah, power plants. And like when it comes to the arm thing, like, you know, um, <laughs> I've shown this picture before. This, this is like mine. And it's like in the places in between, like the lamp, like as if that doesn't look like a modern lamp. And this is the nature of seership like these things emerge and yeah it's like they're already there everything already exists and stuff it's like uh, and that's why the minds were ahead of their time because their approach to science was through the abstract it wasn't like see we're like it's not even a long way around it's just like oh um, uh, it's pretty dismal but it's not like um like 
to even overcomplicate like everything even these dudes did it was like simple to them the mathematics is probably secondary like it emerges like we they just do it and we study it like any other creature or something but yeah it's the more and why it's also see we've got a sun situation here to do with the mind so it's the only way through like you know consciousness is through the to like you know the kingdom of heaven or to the father it's through the sun and all that stuff like it seems to you know fit there so that's the relationship I see when someone mentioned to me um, the uh, the flower the the reeds and the hand arm um, positions are always important to see so you can't you see it there too and see um uh, image of set hanging off the back of Horus. So it seems to make sense to me. Um when someone, if I either see a relationship there, if someone mentions something to me, like, I know the formula, is it, I know if it's going to fit in somewhere, and, um, yeah, you can see it's, you can see it's pathways, and speaking of which, you probably noticed, I just love this, eh, like, um, uh, like all these, we're looking at a medium here of minds, like these are his little, soldiers, <laughs> like I can relate to this, so oh, here we go, the mind maze, so yeah, if you look at the gateway of the sun, I think that's where this is, and it, like to have that symbolism, you know, with the two, and it's interesting, one side is split off into two here. But yeah, this probably goes even deeper, which I probably could get into maybe if I access those memory files. <laughs> yeah, um, so I've done two videos already, that should do me. I think that usually completes if I've got something to say. But yeah, probably eventually I'll go into more of like dreaming stage. We'll try and cross the barriers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Mind to reality.